IQ Squirrel 2000 here, bringing you another pest control video. This is my first attempt at a voiceover. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, this video does contain some violent content. So I've been battling squirrels, pests, rats, and this is the latest setup. I had a motion detector, a cheap one I got from Walmart, um, and I set it up right there on that sign stake next to a bucket. And so the idea is you wave your hand in front of it, any critter getting into the bucket triggers the motion sensor. Now this is it at night. I have that green night light shining down. It is hard to see. So this is with my night vision app that I got from my phone. It's a really great app. Um, I'm able to see, but unfortunately no video. But it worked pretty well at night, even at day. Um, I was able to get a rat at night, but the squirrels during the day quickly figured out the motion detector somehow, and I'm guessing it's because it had a little red light on it. Um, the last meal's here sign is sort of a humorous use of a white backdrop for the night shot for the rat. I scribbled that on there. Uh, but the squirrels figured out the motion detector, so I put it at the top of the uh, shepherd hook there, uh, next to the nightlight. And so this is the new setup. In the new setup, you can see I have a black plastic nursery planter with a pecan in each one and that adds a degree of challenge to the squirrels since they figured out the motion sensor and they figured out my shooting location the squirrels became very uh squirrely haha very jumpy uh they figured my game out so by adding this dimension to it it keeps them focused on the task at hand, getting the pecan, and not on me. And that lets me get the shots that I need. The concrete's great, it blocks over penetration. I don't need to worry about pellets going into the dirt and possibly hitting something buried, such as a sprinkler line or a cable, anything like that. So this guy came, and at first he started to run away and then he remembers, oh wait, yes, I'm hungry. And this is where I take my shot. <coughs> and this is the first time I've ever had to do a double tap or really wanted to. So I'm shooting with a 25 caliber Benjamin Armada. And I'm using a really good hunting pellet. It's by H&N. It's called the Crow Magnum. You can see it in my other videos. It looks like a cereal bowl. It's such a huge, huge hollow point the gap on it is just amazing. But after the first shot, I don't like the fact how his head is not laying flat, how his head is still raised and looking back. And so I went ahead and I loaded up for a second shot to double tap. And this shot uh, takes a new record for being the most devastating shot I've made. Completely brains the squirrel. And you'll see that coming up. Uh, it's pretty hard to see. Um, pretty hard to watch or it can be if you're an animal rights activist so here's a repeat of the first shot uh, slow motion for you you can see the concrete really does its job you can see the mark on the pellet or the mark the pellet made on the concrete it blocked any over penetration did exactly what I wanted it to concrete didn't break the slab didn't move beautiful you could even see the pellet shatter in that uh, freeze frame there so this was shot number one now let's analyze shot number two shot number two you can see the squirrel is <coughs> looking back at me and that was the double tap now this guy I actually did a triple tap on him but the third shot I did not record I thought it was recording but it was not but the third shot didn't really matter. I was just doing it as a double check. But if you saw, if you watched closely, you see there's this big red spray with that second shot. And that's because the second shot actually went from the bottom of his head and hit, uh, hit his brain pretty good. And the, screen, the brain was ejected out of the top of the skull. That's gonna come up in just a minute in the photos. But there it is right there. And you got blood splatter all over the concrete. Yeah, so very graphic content coming up, just to be warned. 
So there's where the overpenetration was blocked pretty well. And now we zoom out a little bit, you can see there's plenty of blood splatter there on the concrete and made a very, very deep pool of blood. I ended up getting a shovel and digging this blood up and flipping it upside down. And there's your brain shot. Uh, pretty brutal. And you can see one of the eyes is bulged and that hollow point just carried the brain straight out with it. And we got blood all over one of the pecans. So I had some bloody pecan Sarah's bait. And surprisingly, within 10 minutes after all of this, squirrel number two came along as if nothing had ever happened. The bloody pecans did nothing to deter him. And I was able to get that one as well. That one's in another video. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to leave any comments. And I look forward to hearing from you.